Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Welcome back to the second class of this module. I'm ready to start. But right now I only have, uh, let me see, seven. How was your day? Somebody want to share with me? How was your day today? Was rough, difficult, was easy? What can you tell me, Suleyma? Difficult teacher. <laughs> oh, difficult, why? <laughs> yes. Do you want to tell me the reason why your day was difficult? A lot of work to do. What about you, Harrison Hernandez? What can you tell me about your day? Hi, teacher. Um, easy, I, I have a uh, uh, free day. Oh, okay, nice. Yes, I always. A lot ah, of excellent. What about Rafael Ernesto? You look like a writer. More or less, more or less. More or less. <laughs> really? Really. Okay. What about Christina? Christina, I can see your face. I don't know, maybe the, the light not working enough. Norma Carolina. Listen, the chair. How are you? How are you? Um, fine. Okay. What about you, Giovanni? Welcome back. What can you tell us? How was your day? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I, I would like to, to know if you already checked uh, the platform. Did you answer the question in, about the discussion? Yes, teacher. Okay. What about the rest of you?
What about tomorrow? It's going to be free for you. Are you going to uh, to have the day off tomorrow, or you you have to work? Work, work. Day off. Day off. <laughs> day off. Yes. Okay. That means that you were only uh, from Monday to Friday, right? Yes. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. And you, teacher? Ready, ready. Just waiting for the okay, rest of the, the crew. Yeah. I have problem in my com computer. Ah, you are having problem with your computer yeah. or the internet connections? Ahorita estoy conectado con mi celular. Ah, okay. Pero I am ready, teacher. Okay, okay, I like that. Los servicios de internet están malos en todas las compañías. Suddenly, we lost the connection. En mi empresa pasamos todo un día sin internet. Sí. El día, eh, el día miércoles. Okay. Okay, let me see the assistant now because I want to go ahead with this talk. Okay, Ana del Carmen is there? Ana del Carmen Mejia? Ana. Angel Narciso. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Cristina Estefan. Cristina. Giovanni Alexander. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. I am driving. What's your name? Cristina Martinez. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Harrison Manuel Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Jose Miguel. Jose Miguel. Juan Carlos Palacios. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Karina Noemi. Present. Okay, welcome back. Uh, Linda Ivet. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Maria Idalia Hernandez. Maria Idalia. It's not here. Maria Julia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome back. Marlene Nicole. Present. Welcome back. Marvin Omar. Marvin. Not here. Nancy Ivet. Nancy. Not here. Uh, Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Welcome. Rafael Ernesto. 
I'm here, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. Not here. Eh, Reinaldo Castro. Reinaldo. Suleima Veronica. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Xiomara del Carmen. Xiomara. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. Okay. Okay, the rest, they are going to add. El resto creo que se va a ir agregando. Lo que me preocupa es que estoy mirando que hay algunos que no se conectaron el día de ayer y ahora no los encuentro conectados tampoco. Y todos saben el compromiso que se adquiere cuando se escriben. Y eh, estamos siendo monitoreados a diario por Insafor. Y recuérdense que ellos son eh, bastante estrictos con lo de las asistencias. Así es que solamente le recalco eso. Es necesario estar eh, cumpliendo con el requisito que se les, se les pidió ahí. El acuerdo que tuvieron con sus empresas es de respetarlo, ¿no? Okay, in order to start today, we are going to, do you remember that I told you the rest of people that uh, didn't participate yesterday, uh, they are going to do it today. But first of all, I would like to hear from one of you that tell me what we studied yesterday. ¿Qué fue lo que realmente, cuál fue el punto nuestro el día de ayer? Alguien que me lo mencione with your own words. Manufacturing process. Ah, we were talking about the manufacturing process, okay? And when we talk about manufacturing process, we talk about something very special that help us to organize ideas and to describe processes. Somebody want to tell me something about it? Ok, para hacerlo más fácil, el día de ayer algunos eh, pudieron expresar lo que habían organizado relacionado a cómo realizar algo siguiendo ya las palabras claves que teníamos, pero eh, no, por el tiempo no pudimos hacerlo con todos. Entonces, quiero que se recuerden quién fue su compañero o su compañera y... En este momento hagamos nuestra participación para ir entrando ya en detalles. Ok. Solo veo manos ahí levantadas. ¿Quién? ¿Quién se atreve? Hello. ¿O será que no hubo tiempo de afinar eso? Veamos lo que pudo haber sucedido.
Okay, I'm going to ask you this question. It's going to be really easy. I need that some of you tell me the process step by step. How do you do in order to turn off your computer? Using the word that we studied yesterday. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What is the process that you follow in order to turn off your computer? ¿Cuál es el proceso que sigue usted para apagar su computadora? Okay, quiero oír. Está fácil. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. The, the first, uh, close the, the program. The second, power off. Only two steps. Okay, somebody else? Veamos, vamos a ver diversidad de conceptos. Somebody else, please? Siento así muy callado. Yo sé, okay, I know that today is Friday. Tomorrow you are going to have uh, the day off maybe, or some of you are going to work, but we need to keep the same power, the same feeling. Okay, somebody else, please. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Harrison. Uh, First, close all programs. Second, go to Windows. Window. Uh, third, choose the shutdown icon. Next, uh, wait for the cadman to turn off. And finally, close the PC. Okay, por ahí vamos llegando. Okay, excellent. Somebody else, somebody else. I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting here. Please tell me. Please close my Excel window and my programs and think the shut down button. Okay. Me teacher. Okay, tell me, sir. Uh, first, I close the programs. Okay. Second, let's start after we look for the shutdown icon. Okay. That's all, teacher. That's it? That's all. Okay. Somebody else? <clears throat> okay, somebody wants to share with me and what did you do yesterday about this topic? ¿Alguna pareja quiere compartir lo que hicieron del proceso que se les dijo ayer? <clears throat> I remember that I told you, okay, uh, tomorrow at the beginning of the class, you are going to continue participating. Do you remember that? I told you that.
Hello, hello, hello. I'm worried, I'm worried because you don't want to speak today. I don't know why. Me estoy preocupando porque veo que hoy no quieren hablar. I don't know what, what happened. <laughs> what I want is that you put in practice uh, the words that we studied yesterday in order to describe a process. Do you remember that we were talking about uh, your daily routine? Te recuerdan que estuvimos hablando de su rutina diaria. Yeah. First, I do this. Second, I do this, and so on. Do you remember that? Yes? No? Hello? Okay, and the last question is going to be easy for you. Se la voy a poner más fácil. Somebody wants to describe or tell me the process in order to get involved in this course. ¿Cuál fue el proceso para inscribirse en este curso? Tell me. Se nos fueron los cinco segundos. <risa> Necesito despertarlos, despertarlos. <risa> Do you remember the process or not? Yes. Mi teacher. Ok. Eh, el proceso no. para... El proceso para hacer una café. Ah, ok, ok. Do it, café, do it. café negro, café negro. Eh, black coffee, black coffee. Es, eh, first, we add water to 100 cup coffee okay. maker. Okay. We, then we add, add a pound of coffee. Eh, then we connect the coffee maker to the electric, electrical outlet. Uh, when, uh, then we oh. wait for the heat to be ready. Okay. Finally, we serve the coffee in a cup and, and add sugar to taste. Okay. Only. Okay, excellent. Talk, teacher. Excellent. Okay. What about you, Karina? Karina Noemi, are you there? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> How was your day, Karina? Good. Okay. Excellent. What can you tell us about the process that we talked about yesterday? Mm, about the manufacturing process, yes. the yes. definition. No, 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 no. Uh, or at a sample. Yeah, the one that you were, uh, were working with somebody else. Uh, I think I tell, I told, I, I don't know how to say. <laughs> Yo lo dije ayer, pero igual. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Okay. Take it easy. What about Marlene? Marlene, are you there, Marlene? I don't see your face. Oh, okay, he's there. Yes. What, what about you? I, what about I you, Marlene? You didn't finish? Nope. <laughs> but can you tell us about what you were working about it? 
I working with her some, but I I don't finish. <laughs> okay. We don't finish. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, the remember that you excuse me? Mm -hmm. Linda. Okay, Linda. So yes, uh, well in my company, well in my workplace, the raw material is some um, wood. So first the wood has to be very dry. Ah, okay. Second, very... It has to be cut, and this depend depends what kind of furniture is going to make. And I third, know. the furniture is painted. And I don't know how, how do you say tapizado? Tapizado. Tapizado, uh -huh. Sometimes we call it finish or banish when we when, when put another kind of material. Well, third, the furniture is painted. Okay. And finally, when the furniture is finished, is um, delivered to the customer. Okay, excellent. I like that. It's a good process. Se dan cuenta que si pueden. Okay. Okay, let us talk about the, the new topic today. Okay, this is class two. We are going to talk about what closes. Let us, okay, we already talked about that review. Okay, uh, we have a conversation here. It is uh, between Jop and Kurt. And sometimes uh, with name like this, uh, we tend to pronounce it in different ways, but don't worry about Kurt. Do you know why you need to have a good product? Um, that's a good question. I think that what I could do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sound great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay, I'm going to read it again. And later on, you are going to practice with somebody else. Kurt. Do you know why you need to have a good product? Uh, that's a good question. I think that what I could do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know. A friend of mine have a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sound great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay. Question? Question? No oh, teacher. No question. Okay. Before to uh, go to the breakout room, I would like to have two volunteers to, to perform the conversation right now. Antes de irnos al breakout room, me gustaría tener dos personas voluntarias que puedan hacer la conversación. I am volunteer. Me teacher. Okay, Norma, somebody else, please. Me teacher. Okay, let me see who say me. I don't see the hands. Okay, go ahead. I am Job. Yeah. Job. 
Yeah, you can be okay. job. Oh. Okay. Here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence. I get it. Yes, you know. Uh, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. Sounds great. And I at the same time, he contributes to these people. Honey, honey, honey. At the same time, at the same time. And right here, what, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, okay. At the same? I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Okay, listen this way and then I'm going to read it. Remember that every time that you perform a, a conversation, you have to do it naturally. And the way that we speak uh, Spanish, we have to do it in English. Uh, first of all, we need to switch a little bit the sounds because in, in another language, we have to look for sound, right? Okay, listen. Sure. Do you know why you need to have a good product? Uh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey for local farmers. Some great. At the same time, he contribute to these people. Okay, what I want is that you do it in that way. You need to put your feelings. Necesito que le pongamos energía, power, al momento que vayamos a hacer la conversación. Okay? Yes. I didn't hear. Yes, Me comprendieron? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. No, yes. no, no. O sea, veo que se me están durmiendo. I don't know. I don't know what is happening here because when I say something as and as I explain how you are going to do, you need to tell, yes, teacher, I'm that okay. Pero yo quiero ver ese power, esa energía. See, ¿Sí? I know that uh, we've been working the whole day. Yo sé que hemos estado trabajando todo el día. Maybe some of you sitting in front of the computer and other doing different stuff like driving or something like that. But uh, in these two hours, we need to give our best in order that you can interact with each other, right? Okay, me comprende lo que digo? Yes? Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. okay, this is module five. That means that all of you understand exactly what I'm trying to say, okay? Okay, we are going to create a breakout room and you are going to participate. Let me see, I got 14, I need to say seven. Okay. I'm going to create it. I'm going to give you three minutes that you can do it, please. Let's go to the breakout room. Here we go. Ana Cristina, Ana Cristina. Okay, at this moment, all the participants are practicing the conversation that is going to help them to improve speaking skills.
Okay, welcome back. Welcome back. Who wants to start? Who wants to start? Okay, Linda. Do it, Linda. En mute, Linda. I don't know what is happening there. Oh, so now you are going to start. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You need to be sure that your um your uh, microphone, please. And okay. Re and remember, cameras on, cameras on, please. I know that we are uh, having some problem with the internet connection, maybe some of you, because suddenly I see, I can see that you lost your connection. Okay, let's do it now, please. Okay. Uh I'm Joe. Giovanni. Okay. Here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Mm, that's a that a good question. I think that what I would do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmer. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Does it? Yes, get you. Okay, thank you. Remember that you need to put your fill in. You need to put your fill in to the conversation. Okay, somebody else, please. Necesito que le ponga un poco más de sazón a la conversación. I'll try with Harrison. Okay, okay, okay. Better do it. Okay. Okay. Who's um, turn? Uh, me. Okay. Here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that I do do is how quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has, has, has sorry, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from a local farmer. Sounds great. And at the same time, he contributes uh, these people. Okay, much better. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody else, please. Mi teacher con Juan Carlos. Okay, Maria Julia. Juan Carlos. Here, uh, here, do you know what you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey for, from local farmers. Some great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Okay. Okay, thank you. Somebody else, please. Karina? Yes, are you ready? 
Yes. Okay. Here do you know what you need to have a good product? Um, that's a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in a product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a friend of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. So great. And at the same time, he contributes to these people. Hey, excellent. Thank you, thank you. Okay, the last couple. Somebody else, please. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Okay, you don't want to talk. You don't want to talk, okay? Okay, remember. What I... Hola, hola. Hello. Okay. Sí. Okay. Go Inicia ahead, usted, Ana Cristina. Okay. Do you know what you need to have a gold product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that what I would do is a hard quality in a product. What do you mean? What exciting is that your product has to be the best in this in the market? Because of the competency, I get it. Yes, you know, a phrase of mine has a honey factory. What my friend did was to get fresh honey from local farmers. So sweet. And at the same time, I contribute to these people. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let us continue. Angel. Sulevi, so I'm ready, oh. Sulevi. So okay. Uh, here, do you know what do you need to have a good product? Oh, that's a good question. I think that's a, what I will do is have quality in my product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. <laughs> Because of the competitive, I get it. Yes. You know, a friend of mine has a money honey factory. Well, my friend did that was to get fresh honey for local farmers. So great. And the sometimes he contributes to these people. Okay. Thank you, Angel. Bye, Sulaini. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, now in order to go for, uh, ahead, I need that you pay a special attention to the words in bold. Take a look for the words in bold, please. Vean todas las expresiones que están en negrilla, por favor. What can you tell me about it? Mm. What do you think? Hello? What can you tell me about these words that are in bold? Take a look, take a look. And look at the structure. What can you tell me about it? 
¿Qué me pueden decir uh, sobre, sobre esas palabras que están en color negría? All of them have what at the beginning. Ah, ok. I like that. What else? ¿Qué más? Expressions. Expressions. Okay, but take a look at the at the, at the structure that they have. Take a look at the, uh, the structure. All of them start with the word uh, what. Okay, what about the next the next word? What is that? Subject. Could be a subject, but in this case we call it a personal pronoun, right? And then, what about this one? Question. The verb. Ah, okay. Verb, verb to be. Okay, try to keep in mind. WH word, a personal pronoun, and a verb. Uh, something similar happened right here. We had the WH word. The personal pronoun, we got an auxiliary. At the same time, we have a verb. In this case, we have a WH. I got the personal pronoun. Uh, it is with a B firm. And I have a ING verb. The same happened here. OK, try to keep in mind. Traten de mantener esa estructura en mente, por favor. I don't know if you are able to read this. I need a volunteer who wants to read it, please. Un voluntario que me quiera leer, por favor, este parrafito corto. Can you see it or not? Only one, only yes. I try. Okay, do it, go ahead. What, what clauses? I okay. want clauses. Is a type of noun clause that begins with the word what. In a declarative sentence, one of the most common application, application for these clauses. Uh, what a clause, what clause which function as a noun may serve as the subject, usually followed by a form of the verb be, subject complement or object of a sentence. Okay, thank you. Okay, right here we have the concept. A what clause is a type of noun clause that begin with the word what. Las clápsulas que llevan what son un tipo de noun clause o clápsulas de nombre que comienzan con la palabra what. In a declarative sentence, one of the most common application form, this clause, a what clause, with function as a noun, may serve as, as the subject, usually followed by a form of the verb be. Subject, complement, or object of a sentence. If I go back, if I go back, what, what we can see here, lo que puedo ver aquí, according to the explanation that I have, is that this is the clause. Este es toda la clausula. Yep. What, what you need. Por eso están completamente en negría todas las palabras que están formando esa cláusula. But let, let me go further. Vamos hacia más adelante para que comprendamos cómo van a funcionar. Don't worry about this. Okay, let me erase this line. 
Okay. Okay, noun clause. What is a noun clause? A noun clause is a dependent clause that we're like a noun. You can find it as a subject or an object. And I have an example here as a subject. What she wrote is interesting. This is a subject. This is the subject. As an object, I read what she wrote. Do you understand that? Please tell me. ¿Comprenden la función que realiza eh, la clápsula que está subrayada? In the first case, this function as a subject. Este es el sujeto. Este es el sujeto. What she wrote. Lo que ella escribió. Is interesting. Y aquí está como objeto. I read what she wrote. ¿Se comprende? Just tell me yes or not. Hello. Okay, let me go. Okay, remember that right here. I'm going to explain you this maybe in Spanish. Aquí no, me, no se me vayan a confundir porque es cierto, estoy usando la palabra what, pero no estoy haciendo una pregunta, ¿sí? Sino que estoy como afirmando algo. ¿Se comprende? But let us see this example that I have here. I, 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 I hope that you can see it very well. If I got a question like this, what do you do in class? ¿Cómo puedo yo convertir esta pregunta a una noun clause? Easy. What we do in class is easy. Yeah? Take a look at this. What do you do in class? And the noun clause said, what we do in class is easy. I need that you tell me what is the difference. Uh, in another word, tell me what this noun clause have that it doesn't exist right here in the question. ¿Qué palabras no están en la pregunta que sí las tengo acá y dónde están ubicadas? Tell me. Oh, sí. Do. Like auxilio. Do. Okay, what happened here? ¿Qué pasa aquí? Ahí no se une. That we. What we. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to do something, but. Okay, right here in the question, we don't have the the personal pronoun we. Yeah, take a look here. What do you do in class? The answer is what we do in class is easy. Okay. And this, this is the keywords is easy because the question say what do you do in class? Okay, and the noun clause say what we do in class is easy. Okay, what about this one? Where does he wears? Remember that we are studying just uh, the what clauses, but in this case, I, I would like to talk about this a little bit because later on you are going to study people. Ahorita eh, el tema nuestro más que todo se refiere a las cláusulas con what, pero más adelante nos vamos a encontrar que también pueden usarse eh, en other words like WH words question. This case I have where does where does he wears, and the noun clause say where he wears is a secret. What is the difference? What is the difference? In one, estás preguntando qué? 
Vamos, despiértense, por favor, despiértense, despiértense. En la primera, ¿qué dice? ¿Dónde trabaja? ¿Dónde trabaja? ¿Quién? Él. Ah, ok. ¿Dónde trabaja él? Ajá. ¿Y en la cláusula? ¿Dónde él trabaja? Ah, ok. Ok, ok. Creo que es el verbo, la diferencia, ¿no? Mm. Una forma de colocar el, el verbo. subject, ¿no? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Remember, ojo, así, fácil. You need to see the order. Necesita ver el orden. Y eso se los, le dije que prestaran atención en la conversación. Primero va la palabra what. Después va el pronombre personal. Después el verbo. En cambio, cuando yo voy a hacer pregunta, primero tengo el WH word. Después puedo tener un auxiliar. ¿Sí? En cambio, aquí es distinto. Yo creo que sí ya me van comprendiendo la idea. ¿Sí? Ok. Then the example. What should I do? What should I do? I don't know what you should do. Take a look at this. Y aquí se repite la estructura otra vez. El what, el pronombre, el auxiliar y el verbo. Ok. The next one says, who are they? ¿Quiénes son ellos? Mary knows who they are. Mary knows who they are. Take a look for the question. How we move to the end. Como se mueve al final. And the last one says, what happened? She knows what happened. Ella sabe lo que pasó. Ok, dale una miradita rapidito para que me comprendan de lo que estamos hablando. Ok, I'm going to interrupt you because I need to check up the assistant again. En lo que reviso la asistencia, usted ya se me configura con ese tipo de cláusulas porque ya luego las vamos a usar. Ok, viernes. Ana del Carmen, ¿ya apareció? Besen, teacher. Sorry. Ah, okay, okay. Well, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Eh, Ángel Narciso. Present, Angel. teacher. Okay, Present, Angel. teacher. Ángel, Ángel. Cristina. Present, teacher. Present. Okay, Cristina. Present, teacher. Okay, Giovanni. Present, teacher. Harrison. Present. Uh, José Miguel, Juan Carlos Palacios, Present. Eh, Karina, Present. Linda Ibet, Present teacher. María Idalia, María Idalia Hernández, It's not here. María Julia. Present. Eh, Marlene. Present. Marvin. Marvin Omar Méndez. Y the second. Okay, Nancy Ivet. Nancy Ivet. It's not here. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Ernesto. Miguel teacher. Raquel Judith. Raquel Judith. Reinaldo Castro. Reinaldo Castro. Suleima. Present teacher. Xiomara del Carmen. Xiomara del Carmen. And Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Ana Cristina, are you there? Yes. 
Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, remember that uh, your assistant is really important. Muy importante su asistencia, por favor. Okay, we already uh, talked about the structure that we are going to follow in order to create uh, what closes. Let, let me see what do you remember. If I want to create one, how I'm going to start? ¿Cómo voy a comenzar para crear una cláusula con what? Y ahí vamos a enlazar lo que ya vimos. Ok, me va a decir usted, ok, first we need to put this. Second this and finally this. O there this and finally this. Ok, tell me. What do you remember about it? Vamos a la estructura, la acabamos de ver. Easy question. Pregunta fácil. Si estuviésemos en el juego de, tan famoso de, de los chinitos, ya saben qué nos pasa, ¿no? ¿Ya vieron la serie completa, cierto? No, ah, ok. Okay, I'm going to share something now with you because I need that you uh, pay attention because uh, in that way you are going to, it's really easy. Okay, but take a look at this. How to use what closes? Uh, what closes are often the subject of the verb be. Algunas veces, a menudo, dice que las what clauses son el sujeto del verbo. Be, which can be followed by a word, phrase, or what? A close. For example, I can say, okay, if you want to pass this module, what you need to do is do all the homeworks. Si usted quiere pasar el módulo, lo que necesita hacer es, yeah, and I'm, I'm using uh, this word, this, this close. Another example could be what my friend did. And what happened if suddenly you are driving your car uh, and in a traffic light, your car stopped? ¿Qué haría usted si cuando llegó al, al semáforo se le apagó el carro? O your friend. And you are going to say, okay, what my friend did was, lo que mi amigo y mi amiga hizo fue, what? Tell me. What about this, this one? What I could do, imagine that suddenly your computer turned off. What would you do? ¿Qué haría usted? What I could do is check the connection. Maybe the battery is not working well. Lo que haría es asegurarme que tengo la conexión porque la batería se agotó. What I'm saying is that we need to be careful. If somebody asks me, what do you mean? What do you say? What do you say? What I'm saying is this. Okay, and, and we have some example at, at, at the right side. It's okay. What you need is to have a great, uh, great product. What my friend did was get fresh ingredient. What I could do is sell my product in, in new markets. 
what I'm saying is that it is not an easy task. Okay, any question about this? Oh, so, any question? Hello. Let me see your faces. Let me see your faces. Okay. Uh, necesito estar seguro si me están comprendiendo lo que estoy explicando porque eh, in, in my case, I don't want to be talking only just me. I need to get a feedback from you. Yo necesito tener un feedback de ustedes. Si yo estoy explicando algo, yo necesito que me diga, yes, teacher, I understand eh, exactly what you are saying. Oh, no. I have a doubt and how we are going to pay this. Could you explain it more, please? Or something like that. Pero la comunicación funciona de esa forma, ¿no? Emisor, receptor, y luego viene otra vez. Okay, what can you tell me about it? Hello. In my case, teacher. Okay, I tell me, sir. I don't understand. Okay, okay. I like I like that you are honest. Me gusta la honestidad porque no se trata solo de pasar el tema y al final hay que producir y no vamos a encontrar qué producir. Okay, so Maria. Alguien más? Mi teacher. Okay. I don't understand. Okay, no me comprende. Va. Okay, 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 okay. Mi Eso. teacher también, sorry. Va, okay, mira. Eh, <laughs> es que eh, le, le he comprendido que, que el, perdón, el what, se, en español se lo voy a decir porque así, ese no, se, no es una pregunta, sino que es como cuando nos queremos referir a un sujeto, a una, a una question, y para que sea no, no, clausa, eh, Tiene que ir un pronombre, el auxiliar y el verbo, ¿verdad? Eso sí, es lo que eso... le he logrado comprender. Sí, vaya, le voy a explicar algo. Creo que hay que cambiar los, los, los términos. Cuando yo tengo una pregunta usando what, inmediatamente después de what, yo tendré un auxiliar. Ejemplo, what do you do? Después de what, yo tengo do, que en ese caso es un auxiliar. ¿Sí? ¿Se comprende? ¿Aló? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. En yes. cambio, si yo, quiero, si yo quiero crear una cápsula usando what, después ah. de la palabra what, ¿qué es lo que necesito tener? El subject. Pues necesito... Vaya, ahí eh, lo vamos a manejar de esa forma. Pero no. Sí. Un pronombre, es que ahí me confundí. Sí, apá, eso es lo que quería decir. Mira, los pronombres pueden clasificarse en sujetos y en objetos. ¿Ya? Ah, ok. Eh, por eso es los, los términos, por eso son los términos. Pa, pero para que no nos confundamos, hablemos de que después del what necesito yo tener un pronombre. Ejemplo, yo digo, what I want. What I want you to say is this. Lo que yo le quiero decir es esto. ¿Sí? Entonces, de esa forma yo voy a crear las cápsulas. Por eso le, ya rato les estoy diciendo, vean la estructura, vean la estructura, vean la estructura. Entonces, para hacer cápsulas, lo que yo necesito es tener what, tener un pronombre personal, ¿sí? Ya sea objeto o sujeto. Y después de eso yo necesito tener un verbo. ¿Sí? Y entonces por eso es que yo les ponía estos ejemplos. Veámoslos de nuevo. Tranquilos. Aquí está, mira. Después del what va el pronombre y dice what you need, lo que usted necesita es... Si fuese pregunta, aquí diría, what do you need? 
¿Me van comprendiendo? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Y se lo voy a marcar así, mire. I'm sorry to do this, but I need, I need to do it. Take a look at this. What my friend did, lo que mi amigo hizo, ahí no está haciendo una pregunta, sino que estamos como afirmando qué es lo que el amigo dijo. What I... Y aquí sí tengo un auxiliar. What I should, what I would do is, lo que yo haría es, y aquí también tengo what I'm saying, aquí tengo también este acompañando a la forma del pi, what I'm saying is that it's not a C. Entonces, eh, ahora sí, sí, me, sí me, me están comprendiendo o no me están comprendiendo todavía. Eh, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, thank you. Eh, teacher, eh, bueno, yo lo que observo también es que en la pregunta, what solo significa qué, y en la cláusula significa lo qué. ¿Sería así? Yeah, could be. Sería cuestiones de traducción. Sí. Pero es que aquí, por ejemplo, aquí no está, no está hecho en pregunta, porque aquí, si yo quiero hacer la pregunta, tendría que decir, what do you, do you need? Es, es algo como solo para afirmar lo que así, uno hace. Así. Podríamos decirlo porque, así. Porque para preguntas, siento que ya, sa ya sabemos que después del what, siempre lleva como el auxiliar, ya es, sea tú o das. Yes. Ahí está. Creo que lo que, nos, lo que nos confunde es como, bueno, en lo personal, como para qué se utiliza, pero ya entendí que es como para afirmar algo y que siempre después del what va a llevar como el, ¿qué sería? Sujeto. El, el, el nombre. El pronombre. Personal sujeto. Ajá, el pronombre y de ahí luego la continuación de, el verbo. de la afirmación. Ok, por ahí va haciendo, por ahí va haciendo, por ahí va haciendo, pero les voy a pedir de favor, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing this in Spanish, because uh, I need that you be, be sure of what we are talking about. Ok, I don't know if you can see it, uh, let me see, I'm going back. Ok, I'm going to do, bigger this, hacerlo más grande para que lo puedan ver mejor. No se preocupen. Okay, I'm going to share with you this uh, this little share. Voy a compartir con ustedes este cuadro. Uh, no con el ánimo de que se me vayan a confundir, no. Sino con el objetivo de que podamos como clarificar un poco más lo que estamos diciendo. Nos vamos a enfocar solamente donde se encuentre la palabra what. Ejemplo, por ejemplo, aquí dice, what did he say? En español sería. Rapidito. ¿Qué dijo él? ¿Qué dijo él? Ah, okay. ¿Qué, dijo? ¿Qué dijo? Y mira cuando se convierte en una cláusula, dice, I couldn't hear what he said. Yo no pude oír lo que él dijo. Entonces, ¿cuál es la diferencia entre estas tres palabras y estas que están aquí? Simple. Que aquí ya no tengo el auxiliar di. Y el verbo cambió, mire. ¿Qué? Porque como lo tengo en tiempo pasado, pero tranquilo, todavía no, no, no se me complique. O busquemos otro. Aquí dice, what happened? ¿Qué pasó? What happened? Y mire aquí, please tell me what happened. Ahí es igual. Por favor, dime qué es lo que pasó. Dime lo que pasó. 
Y luego en esta otra dice, what did she say? ¿Qué es lo que dijo ella? What she said surprised me. Lo que ella dijo me sorprendió. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que no está aquí? ¿Qué es lo que no el está? El auxiliar. Aquí? Es el auxiliar, qué excelente. Es el auxiliar. Y la última dice, what should they do? What they should do is obvious. Y aquí tenemos la pregunta, ¿qué deberían de hacer ellos? Lo que ellos deben de hacer o deberían de hacer es obvio. Y aquí al final le explica y le dice, what she said is the subject of the sentence. Estas tres palabras son el sujeto de la oración. Notice. Uh, y dice, in case, aquí en la letra K, en outlaw, subject paid a singular verb. Aquí toma un verbo en singular. Aquí está. Is. Ok. Veamos si ya se clarificó la memoria o no se clarificó. Ok, now explain in your own words. Ahora explíqueme eh, en sus propias palabras. ¿Cómo vamos a crear las what clauses? Lo dice ahora, por favor. Porque luego que te... What? What? Uh, eh, eh, pronom. Eh, uh, eh, verb. Uh, a complement. Ok, explíquemelo con un ejemplo, por favor. Give me an example. In order to be sure that you understand. But what he say Okay, okay, what else, what else, what else? Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, give me an example. Uh, what you what you say was the explaining okay repeat again please explanation explanation okay you can say what you said is a good explanation about this topic Okay. What he study a class. Repeat again, please. What he study a class. What he study in class is important. Lo que él estudió en clase es importante. Ah, what he studied in class is really important. Ok. Ok. Somebody else, please. Somebody else. Vamos, participa, porque si no. What Karina is thinking is really important. Take a look of Karina's face. Vean, vean, vean la, el rostro de Karina. ¿Qué es lo que yo dije? Hello. Repeat, please. Que lo que Karina está pensando es importante. Lo que Karina está pensando es importante. ¿Ya? Yeah? What Karina is thinking is really important. Ok. Ok, give me another example, please. I can hear you, I can hear you. 
No, no le, no le puedo oír. Se le oye entrecortado. Ok, Karina, give me, give me another example, please. Mm, I don't remember what we studied yesterday. What we studied yesterday, yeah, you can start in this way. What we studied yesterday was easy or was difficult. Yeah? Y ahí está su clápsula. Marlene. Um, what I do today is a uh, tire. Can you repeat no. again? Will you repeat again, please? What I do today is a tire. No. Okay. Remember that the day is uh is, is done. What I did today, oh. yeah, I was really tired. Okay, Linda. Yes, for example, the book what Miriam is reading is born, born, aburrido. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, Harrison. Yes, what the teacher is teaching is very interesting. What the teacher is saying makes sense. Okay. Angel, Angel, do you want to say something? Mm. Not teacher. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, Harrison, you ready to talk? Harrison, ya participó? O, 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 o? Yes, teacher. Okay, se me le quedó la manito arriba. Okay, let us continue. We are going to resolve the, the next exercise and that way we are going to see uh, if all of you understand. Necesito que les quede bien claro el tema. Mira, yo he tratado por todos los medios de, de, de explicarles en español porque sé que el, el, el topic is not easy. Sometimes it's really difficult. Y lo que más me interesa es que les quede muy claro cómo van a usar. ¿Por qué? Porque tan pronto entres a la plataforma te vas a encontrar con ejercicios de esos. Y si no me comprendes aquí, you no. Know? And what I want to see there in the platform, only 100. Solo quiero 100, 100 y 100. ¿Ya? No tens. 100. Any questions so far from here? No? Teacher. Hello? Uh, this, this only use uh, past or otra tiempo? Oh, all, all depend. All depend on the situation that we are going to re refer to, but the most common sometimes In this case, if we are talking about processes, we are talking about past. Para que no nos confundamos, si, si ustedes observaron los ejemplos, la mayoría de ellos se refirieron a tiempos pasados. But I, but I can say this, what I, what I am saying, lo que yo les estoy diciendo, ahí estamos en, en, en tiempo que es diferente. Presente. What I am thinking, es en el presente progresivo. ¿no? What I am thinking, what I am trying to tell you, que yo te estoy tratando de decir, what you are telling me, it doesn't make sense. Lo que me estás diciendo no tiene sentido, you know. Comprende cómo va funcionando. Yes, ok. ¿Son variados? Mi teacher. Okay, tell me. What I need is a uh, read a book English. Ah, if I want to improve, what I need is to read a lot in English. Excellent, sir. Okay, somebody else. Me teacher. Okay, Christina. 
what my sister um, prepare a uh, prepare a uh, good picture. What my sister prepare a uh, good pizza. What my sister prepare is a good pizza. Good pizza. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 Okay, let, let's go to the next exercise that I have. Veamos el siguiente ejercicio, por favor. Okay, number five. Uh, you are going to select the best expression from the table in section four. I, I suppose that all of you got your books. Todo el mundo debe tener su libro en digital and to complete the sentences. For example, the one said, my best friend just opened his own job, was open it in a good, I don't know if difficult for you to read it. Let me adjust it a little bit. I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Hold on a second because I got, this is pretty big. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Okay. okay. Let me show you the book. It's going to be better if I show you the book. Okay, I'm going to do it this way because it's going to be better because you need to see uh, also the words that I have. I got it here. Mejor les muestro el libro así para que se comprenda mejor. I don't know if you can see it very well. Yes? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Number five says, select the, the best expression from the table in section four to complete the sentences. And we have, uh, we have four different sentences and we have four different expressions here. Okay, what about if I assign you, if I give you the chance to do it in, in pairs? Okay, if you don't have the books, uh, what you can do is just uh, make a screenshot now. Quien no tenga el libro, por favor, puede hacer una captura en este momento. Is done? Yes or not? So, what you are going to do is just to select the best expression from the table in section four, one of these. So I'm going to put it here, okay? Just tell me. As soon as I give you an, an instruction, I need that you give me a, an answer. Tan pronto le doy una instrucción, necesito que me den una respuesta. Yes, teacher, I understand. Sí, comprendido. No, we have no doubt. Ok, ¿se comprendió lo que dije? Yes. 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 Ok, I'm going to create a breakout room and you are going to solve it in couples, right? Lo van a resolver en pareja, veamos si es cierto que sí lo hacen. Here we go, here we go. Marlen and Anna Cristina, please. Anna Cristina, somebody's waiting for you. 
Okay, in this moment, all the participants are solving the exercise number five. They are working in pairs in order to have more ideas how to do it. Okay, tell me. Do you want to see it? Hold on a second. Okay, let us resolve. Number one. Who wants to tell me number one? Me, teacher. Okay, read it, please. My best friend just opened his own shop. What my friend did was open it in a good mall. Excellent. Okay, number the second, two. The second is many people want to start their own business. And what you need is lots of information. What you need is lots of information. Okay, number three. Number three, please. 
me teacher i don't know where the she has to start uh, what i will do is from the product online okay i don't know where she has to start okay what i would do is to promote the product online and the last one, number four. Number four, please. People don't buy new products because they can't. What I'm saying is there is no demand. People don't buy new product because they can't. Okay. What I'm saying is there is no demand. Okay, any question? Any question? No? Not to you. Okay, I like that, I like that, okay. Now, let me see the time. Okay, you are going to have enough time in order to create your own. You are going to create uh, your own process where uh, but you need to you need to use the what closes donde van a necesitar usar a la, la what closes let me see something here Okay, what you are going to do is that you are going to work in a presentation about a product from a company and you are going to use what closes. And that means that you are going to give a, like, like advice, for example, like advices. Imagine that somebody say, okay, I'm planning to run my own business but I don't know what can I do. Estoy planificando eh, crear mi propia empresa, pero yo no sé qué puedo hacer. Y luego el otro entonces comienza a usar una cláusula y le dice, what you, what you can do is ask for information. Ya. Yeah. Puedes pedir la información, puedes pedir asesoría en X o Y eh, lugar. ¿Se me comprende lo que estoy diciendo? ¿Qué es lo que necesito? ¿Yes o no? ¿No? No. ¿Karina? No, no, no. Ok, Karina, imagine that uh, what do you want to do is just to sell your cell phone. Se quiere vender su teléfono. Pero viene usted y dice, ok, I want to sell my cell phone, but I don't know what can I do. Quiero vender mi teléfono, pero no sé cómo lo puedo hacer mejor. Entonces, so somebody else is going to say, what you have to do is just that you are going to put on Facebook. Yeah? And you start doing and uh, you can, what you can say is the price. Puedes mencionar el precio y comienzas a usar las cláusulas. ¿Sí? ¿Me comprende? ¿O no me comprende? Sí, te he ¿Hello? Sí, se comprende. Ah, ok, ok. First of all, what you need to think is the product that you are going to present. Uno de los dos es el que tiene que presentar el producto, el otro le va diciendo que usando esas cláusulas. Ok, we are going to start working on the tres minutos. Vamos a comenzar a hacerlo en los primeros tres minutos que se pongan de acuerdo. Entre switch, the, voy a cambiar las parejas para que no me digan de que solo los mismos. Ok, remember that the, the, your main 
main point is to use what clause. Ese es el punto. Usar what clause. Here we go. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Okay, in this moment they are preparing a presentation including the structure that we already started. It is really important to have clear how we are going to create the work clauses. Because uh, what tend to confuse on time is that we need to see and have a really clear what is the difference between a question and a what clause. In a question, we use an auxiliary and when we talk about what clauses, what we use is uh, the what word, and then uh, we use a, a personal pronoun in this case. And, and then we can use a, a verb. For the reason it's really important that uh, you practice because in that way you are going to increase your skill in order to create these kind of clauses. Ok, no te preocupes, este es el primer round, este es el primer round, no se preocupen. And you can start your presentation with a question. For example, somebody say, ok, uh, María, I want to talk with you about this because I design a new product in my company, but I don't know how I'm going to do in order to sell it. And somebody else is going to say, okay, what you can do is this. What, I'm, what I am thinking is, and you start doing that way. Okay, any question? Any problem that you found during the process? No? Okay, do you consider that if I give you uh, three more minutes, uh, uh, you can finish? Yes or no? Maybe. Maybe? Okay, it's a possibility. <laughs> yeah, it's a possibility. <laughs> Teacher, more. More, more, yes, more, very, more. Very, 
very little time give us. Say it again. It's a little. Yes, of course I know, but I we need we need more. Yeah, of course I know. Need more, need more, my minus. Yeah, yeah. For that reason, I said this is the third round. Por eso les dije este es el primer round. Yeah. No dijimos a cuántos asaltos es la pelea que tenemos. Una sola noqueada de ahorita. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, sí, pero lo más importante que quiero saber es eh, si encontraron dudas al momento de, de crear. Por ejemplo, alguien dice, ok, uh, Giovanni, can you help me in this? Se me quedó Giovanni, se me quedó. Yes, teacher. And I say, okay, Giovanni, can you help me in this? Uh, imagine that I need to buy a new car. Imagínate que yo necesito comprar eh, un carro nuevo. What can you tell me? ¿Qué me puedes decir de eso? Y ahí aplican ya eh, las what clothes. Uh -huh. Ok. Eh, what you what you do is um, the uh, okay okay don't worry don't worry que lo better, 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 better. Sí. Uh, budget budget uh, y para decir usado <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Teacher. Tell me, Harrison. For example, what you could do is publish it on the internet. Mm, but what I want to do is buy. I want to buy. And buy. I want okay. to buy. Uh, what you could do is um, see, it, the, see it in the internet. Okay, what else? What else? ¿Qué más puedo yo agregarle ahí? What you need is a good me mechanic. Ah, okay. And also what you need is to look for a good mechanic. And what else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Ya los dejé picados, pero no, pues volvamos al tema de que tenían mejor para que terminemos la idea. Ok, ok, I'm going to give you three minutes more. In order that you finish, ok. No more than this, solo tres minutos más y luego compartimos lo que hicimos. Here we go. Hurry up, please. Ana Cristina. Ana Cristina. Are you there? Juan Carlos is waiting for you, Ana Cristina.
Okay, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, I need volunteers, volunteer, please. At least uh, three pairs. Al menos tres parejas, and the rest is going to be for tomorrow at the beginning of the class. Okay, volunteers. I'm going to choose the people that have the camera off. Si no, vamos a elegir los que tienen las cámaras apagadas. They are going to start. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. And also, uh, okay, Linda. Also, I need to be sure that the person uh, that is going to have that 10 minutes today be ready for that. Ana. Hola, Ana. hello, hello, Ana. hello. Okay. Hello, Ana. <laughs> you know what? I'm trying to increase sales of my products online. Linda, what but you need? I don't what, know what I have to do. Linda, what you need to do is yield good price for your customer. Only teacher. Thanks, Anna. Okay, <laughs> nice. Excellent. <laughs> somebody else, somebody else, please. Antes de que se me olvide la persona que le corresponde en los 10 minutos. ¿Sabe quién es? Ayer se lo dije. Hola. Hola. Me teacher. Ah, Angel, Angel. Okay, okay, continue. Somebody else, somebody else? Karina? Okay. Hello, Karina. Uh, I help me, please. I need to buy a new computer. What you need is looking for a computer with a good system. Oh, that's great idea. And also, <laughs> tell me, tell me. Uh, and also what you can do is buy a recognized brand, for example, Apple or Samsung. I prefer um, Apple. It's a good computer. Thank you. <laughs> Only that, teacher. Okay, awesome, awesome, excellent. Okay, somebody else, please. Vani. Vani. Ah, al mismo. Okay. Okay. Este es. Eh... Hey, hey, Giovanni. I need a new cell phone. Can you help me? Hey, uh, right. What's going on? Fair. What you need is money. How much money do I need? A uh, one hundred dollars. I don't have that. What I need is take a lot. Okay. Okay, thank you. The rest, remember, the rest is going to be at the beginning of autumn. That means that you are going to have uh, more time in order to get there, okay? Okay, let, let me take a look at the assistant now because we are close to finish today. Let me see the assistant, what's going on here. I don't know what's happened here. Come on, come on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a minute, please. I got it, I got it. Okay, I'm sorry.
Okay, uh, Ana del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay, Angel. Present teacher. Christian. Cristina, perdón. Cristina Stefano. Present teacher. Giovanni. Present teacher. Herson. Present teacher. Eh, José Miguel. No apareció. Okay, Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Karina Noemi. Present. Linda Ivette. Present teacher. María Idalia. No se presentó. María Julia. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlene Nico. Present. Present. Ok, 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 ok. Eh, Marvin Omar. No se presentó. Nancy Iber. Está. Norma Carolina. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Rafael Ernesto. I'm your teacher. Ok, thank you, sir. Raquel, you did. Raquel, you did. No está. Reinaldo Castro. No se presentó. Sul, Suleima. Present teacher. Xiomara del Carmen. Xiomara. Y Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Teacher. Hello. Okay, thank yes, you sir. very much. I do really appreciate your assistance. And I hope that you can uh, interact and ask questions if you have any doubts. For the one that are not going to work tomorrow, okay, have a happy weekend. And I hope to see you on Monday, right? Okay. 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 Good night. Okay, Good night. Solo me quedaría con Ángel. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night. teacher. Good night. God bless you. And don't forget to resolve the activities in, in the platform, please. Okay, teacher. Bye bye. Okay, bye, teacher. Bye, Thank you. bye bye. Ana del Carmen. Okay, Ángel Cardona. Hello, teacher. I got a, I, I got some students with your last name. They are my good friends too. Cardona. Cardona Sanchez. Yes. I okay. live in Guayua, teacher. And uh, you? No, I live in the in El Oriente de El Salvador. San Miguel. Yes. San Miguel. Ah, okay. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Pretty hot here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, in this 10 minutes, you are going to have the chance to ask me question about something that you don't understand. If you can do it in English, you can do it in Spanish. In these 10 minutes, you have the opportunity to clarify some concepts. Más que todo, la clase de ahora, teacher. La okay. clase de ahora, sí, que tú sea. Porque eh, prácticamente como nosotros hemos venido este, manejando las estructuras de las oraciones, ¿verdad? Eh, no me quedó claro así la estructura de, de, de estas cláusulas. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, pero considero de que hoy sí, va a quedar claro. Porque wow. eh, eh, pare, parece que en el homework es la única, es la única este, eh, pregunta que no he podido contestar. Ah, ok, ok. Veamos lo siguiente. La estructura de una pregunta, cuando uso what, inmediatamente después de what, uso un auxiliar que en este caso podría ser do. ¿Sí? Cuando es una pregunta. Cuando es una pregunta. Podría, podría decir yo, what do you do? Ok. ¿Sí? Entonces. Ajá. La estructura de, de what, el auxiliar do... El subject y el verbo. Sí. En cambio. Y el complemento. Cuando, sí. Cuando y yo luego complemento. A, sí. Cuando yo voy a hacer cláusulas. Sí. 
el orden es diferente. Voy a usar what yes, y después sí, sí. de eso voy a usar, eh, puede ser un pronombre personal y luego el verbo. Yes. ¿Cómo? Por ejemplo, si en la pregunta decía what do you do, entonces yo puedo decir what I am doing, lo que yo estoy haciendo. Entonces ya, ya el auxiliar ya no, ya no está presente. O por ejemplo, si yo digo, what I, what I think, lo que yo pienso, es diferente a, a, a hacer la pregunta, what are you thinking about? Okay. Entonces al final, para no confundirlo mucho, la estructura sería la siguiente, sería what, después uh -huh. del what, eh, un pronombre personal después de eso eh, podría el ser verbo. el verbo sí el verbo Correcto. así es Ajá. perfecto será que me construyo bueno. un, un ejemplo para ver si lo estamos haciendo bien uh -huh. eh, ejemplo de, de una clase en el caso de una cláusula Sí, de una clave. ¿Verdad? Eh, what you... What you... Eh, reading? Ok. ¿Está bien así? Sí, sí. Solo, solo pongámosle algo más. Algo más, ¿verdad? Sí. Reading book, reading book. What you read... Is important, is boring. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Lo que tú lees o lo que tú estás leyendo es importante, es aburrido. Depende, ahí se le pone un poco más de complemento. De complemento. Así Perfecto. es. Yo y creo si que... Es... Si, si estamos hablando de un producto que necesitamos lanzar, entonces... Le decimos al, al, al personaje lo que necesita hacer. What you need to do is. Lo que tú necesitas hacer es. ¿Sí? Ajá, sí, sí. Listen. What you, you need, need to do. To do. Sí. What okay. you need to do. Diferente hacer la pregunta que diga, what do you need? Ah, okay, okay. ¿Se comprendió? Eso que sí, teacher. Okay. ok. Yo creo que esto es lo que voy a practicar esta, esta noche, teacher. Ah, okay. ¿Verdad? Okay. ¿Verdad? Voy a practicarlo y yo creo que ya para mañana ya lo tengo ready. Ah, ok. Excelente. ¿Verdad? Y si mañana sí, todavía te, tuviese una duda... Tranquilo, solo me escribe un mensajito y con gusto le, le, le clarifico ahí lo que tenga. Perfecto, teacher. Ok, okay, okay. So era. okay, okay. excelente. Thank you. Right. Thank Have you for night. helping me. Ok. Good okay. night. Hope to see you next Monday. Okay. Okay. Good night, okay. teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow in the night. See you on Monday.